Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the OC Show. This is episode 23 and the very last one of the of the recorded ones of this season. First things first, there's going to be, again, a Q&A. Yeah, so like you said, last episode, and it will also be the last Q&A that will take place on Sunday 29th, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. That will be Monday 30th at 9 a.m. here in Taipei. And I'm not too sure what we are going to talk about, who is going to be the guest for this last episode, but... You know, if you have any ideas of something we should discuss or use for a celebration of the end of the season, just let us know in the comments. So this was uh, this was season two and season three will be coming next year, I hope. Yeah, next year in January at some point when we are back from the Christmas vacations and New Year. So. All right. Looking forward to what season three has uh, has in store. Let's move on to the competitions. Of course, there's a Rookie Rumble number 25 that just started last weekend. It runs until December 25. Uh, currently in the lead is Tag from Austria, followed by, followed by Bas uh, Mafia and Geek1991. Yeah, and it just started at the same time as the Rookie Rumble AMD, our most popular AMD competition so far. <laughs> also ending on December 12th, and here, um, yeah, not so many participants, so I guess just look at the ranking on your screen. There's probably just three people in there. Also, time. starting on Saturday, or last Saturday, is the sixth edition of the Novice Nimble. Last edition was won by Overclock.net, and then the four before that won by Kaukaukland. So let's see how that unfolds. Is Overclock.net starting a streak, or do we see Hardware Ready, OC official team from Italy, take the win? It's going to yeah. be exciting. Hardware Ready was trying really hard last time, so this time they're already at the top, we'll see. Uh, another exciting competition, uh, again, about teams and most like more countries here, the Country Cup, the Eichdaibat Country Cup 2015, which is officially named the Overclocking World Cup, according to Cockatland in France. Here we have uh, Germany with 159 points in the lead, Ukraine with 146, and Australia with 137, Australia, which is defending its title from the previous year because they already won they two had times. A, they had a back-to-back -back title the yeah. three, past three, uh, two years, sorry. So And Romania, well, Romania is fighting, but right now it's not enough to be in the top three. But, you know, stuff could come up. Also running currently is the ACES ROG OC Showdown Formula Round 3. It's running until December 7th. It's a competition targeted at the enthusiast, novice, and Riku overclockers. Of course, if you have an, an ACES motherboard or maybe you have an ACES notebook that you can overclock, it's possible as you well. Can, you can. Yeah. Currently in the lead is Nick from Germany. In second place, we have Stivut from Romania. And in third place, Kasatea23 from India. And another competition that is a sponsored competition at the moment is the Gigabyte Target OC Open Target Competition. There you have uh, six uh, sub-competition categories. Uh, going quickly over it, we have the two-core ambient where uh, Lock Key from the USA is uh, number one at the moment. Uh, two-core Extreme, Dark Venom from Brazil, four-core ambient, again, uh, Lock Key from the USA, four-core Extreme, Mean Keys from the USA. Six core ambient Lil Chronic from the USA and six core extreme Gentino X from Spain. So a lot of USA guys actually riding S that competition. Speaking about X, there is also HW at X. It's oh, a new <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, <laughs> it's a new project launched uh, last Friday, and the project is basically about overclocking events. Yeah, so we've realized during the summer when we. Uh, wrapped up the world tour actually that there was a need for a platform where people could share their events right now so as if we heard of it uh, we're trying to make a news at a try to mention it on the lc show but it's true uh, for people that want to take part in those events sometimes they either discover it too late if they're not really following close up all the local forums or the various forums so this place is going to be a huge directory of events where people can post their own events on there um, there will be a RSVP feature coming up very soon there, and it also hosts a uh, framework for event organizers to help them getting started and, you know, sometimes know what, what to do, how to do their events, and we call those the HDIBOT X events, so certified HDIBOT X events, we would say. And um, here the focus is always to keep uh, one activity at a time for each event, so workshop, gathering, competition. So you have to pick one. Uh, we help you out with the organization and we promote it a little bit more than the other events, but it's one way for you also to put your name on there as an organizer 
and show to uh, to the world what you can do. Yeah, it's, it looks like a very interesting site for people who want to meet up with other overclockers around the world. You can try and find if there is a gathering or an overclocking competition or a workshop going on in your area. If not, you can make your own and promote it on the site. It's exactly. like a very, very nifty tool for, for the community to you know, start being more social. Yeah, and talking about tools for the community. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> yes. Uh, the embed rankings on forum feature is finally up and running, and we've already uh, seen some example of that. But first, uh, why this tool? How does it work? What's the purpose? So for a very long time, we've had people ask us if we if they uh, if we have an uh, an API available so they can embed HW rankings on their forum. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an API before. We had an API before before as well, uh, but it needed some updating. So mm -hmm. we've asked our developers to look into this and to supply the community with three types of leaderboards. You have the team leaderboards mm -hmm. where you can get the benchmark rankings, for example, for Super Python Return for your team, which you can embed in your forum or on your uh, on your, uh, on your your blog or on your website. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you also have the benchmark rankings where you can get the Hall of Fame from each of the benchmarks. And of course, you have the competition rankings as well where you can, you know, for example, if you want to follow the, uh, the Country Cup from your, for from your forum, mm -hmm. you can easily embed the Country Cup uh, leaderboard and you okay. know, every day you can check on your personal forum how the stein so just are. like a Cockatland did that yeah exactly a yeah. uh, second very important to uh, aspect of the tool is the fact that i'm now able to implement all the leaderboards that i manually update on the forum with one embed ranking and i don't have to do any work anymore so question is what are you going to do with all this free time <laughs> yeah i can put it my uh, my uh, my efforts into other projects the, the, the cool thing is for example we have a lot of five gigahertz yep. uh, super pi 32m low clock challenges now those threads are always up to date i don't have to go in every month again mm. and update them all oh, that's pretty cool i hope uh, we'll see that a lot around everywhere Very yeah interesting um, so happening also in the community, besides new features, Gigabyte that is holding some streams those days. They had today their first stream, which they were showing basically to uh, an audience how to mount, uh, build the PC. So they called it the PC DIY live stream. And uh, tomorrow, uh, more interesting for overclockers, will be the episode where Sophos, Dinos, and Sam, so all from Gigabyte, uh, will be live explaining how to overclock that system. So it's going to be quite interesting and if you want to tune in it's going to be tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. here in Taipei so that's going to be 9 p.m. in the U.S. today for you. That's as early as the live Q&A's. Yeah, pretty much the same time, exactly. I'll try to be here. <laughs> also happening uh, last week, we released uh, some more interviews again from the Overclockers in Focus. We are not done yet. Uh, Coldus from Indonesia was our last victim. Uh, Coldus, who is actually mentored or was mentored by Lucky Noob. And yes, of course, Lucky Noob is this week. So another great character of the overclocking community from Indonesia. And uh, he has some really, really cool things to say. So uh, on Friday, don't miss that one. All right, I'll definitely watch that one. All right, so that's about it for All right. this last episode. Don't forget the Q&A on Sunday 29th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching the second season of the OC Show Recorded. If you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to get in touch and let us know what you want to see in season three. Yes. Uh, mail Tim, not me. Yeah, or in the comments, up to you. All right, see ya. Thanks for watching. <laughs>